What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Robot Panda 15 bringing you another episode of Valkyria Chronicles. This is episode, or chapter, 3.2, where we'll actually go on the combat op that we have on our screen. And uh, I will reveal you these last two things. Now, I had to do some tactical gaming stuff, so unfortunately, um, the training field and R&D, you won't be able to meet them right on to have them tell you. I'm going to have to tell you. Uh, the training field. This is where you go to train each class. Now, like Captain Verrat said last time, the... Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots! The training field is there. Train all you want! I've got all... Yeah, he's just, he's annoying. So the training field is here for you to level up each class. And like Captain Verrat said, um, every unit in a class will stay at that level. So... Even though you got rid of, if, if we got rid of Melville next time and we came back three chapters later and we had level 7 scouts, Melville would still be a level 7 scout. So starting off here, uh, since we do have lots of scouts, we're going to level them up first as well as our snipers because we want our snipers to be exceptionally well. And then we'll also level up shock troopers. So we're going we're gonna to start with, uh, wait, we have enough experience. We can level everybody up. So let's do that. We'll level everybody up by one. Now, you can also get new no evasion boosts. Sweat, sweat, <coughs> Excuse sweat. me. You can also get boosts as well as field orders. And field orders are kind of like um, special permissions. They're like, oh, you can get an airstrike, Good or oh, you get maggots. this or that. You're one level closer to human. So starting off here. Like that session beat a new potential out of the land. And this is also how you unlock new potentials as well. So through this, we're going to unlock potentials for um, most of our units here. And now, as you can see, the experience increase. I'm actually going to throw more into the snipers because I want my snipers to be highly accurate. And this is going to need to happen. And we'll throw the last 81 into engineer. Good work, maggot! Actually, I'm going to save that last 81 and not use it right away. That way, so we just have it all Come for the level up. You're ready to sweat. And, uh, yeah. So that's the training field for you. It's basically the level up units. Now we got the R&D facility. The R&D facility uses money to level up your equipment, well, your armament, bro. and everything. Um, so unfortunately, you guys couldn't meet Chris. Uh... JD, you couldn't really meet them because I had to speed through all this in order to save that way so I didn't have to select, reselect all my units for the roster. But yeah, coming in here, we got uh, rifles. Rifles are what your scouts and your engineers use. So we're actually going to throw an accuracy boost uh, because we need it, to be honest. Here you go. Anything that's accuracy, you're going to want. I'm going to throw the fire. I'm not going to throw anything on the Magzem 2 yet. That This is what your shock troopers use. These are your anti-tank weapons. This is what your um, lancers use. So I'm going to actually get the firepower boost for that because you can never have enough firepower with your lancer. And we're going to get the accuracy boost for the sniper rifles as well. Here you go, bro. All done. Yep, all done. And then we're not going to mess with hand grenades. We're not going to mess with uniforms or blast suits. Um, but now we're actually going to go to the Edelweiss. Now, the Edelweiss has certain enhancements. You and if we go over here to Treads and Other, um, where it says block size, you bas basically for your tank, you have a certain set amount of blocks that you can fill within it. So we're going to get the spare belt, which will give us 50 more Tread HP. And right here, you can see we have a 3x4 block, so we have a 12 total spaces we can use. Um, we, have, we have 12 total spaces we can use, and we have to fit these different uh, upgrades into there in some way, shape, or form. So we're going to get a hardened plate to defend against critical hits on the radiator. Um, throw that there. And we'll call that good for now. Now we're going to go into attack support and get some accuracy boosts. These also use the same block system. So we're going to throw the bulletproof visor in on here. We're going to throw that right there just because. And then let's go into uh, the meat and potatoes, the body enhancements. 
Now you can do one of two things. You can get a barrel protector, which increases your range, or you can get frontal armor, which increases your defense. Now there is a difference between increasing your defense and increasing your hit points. Like in Pokemon, if you increase your hit points, it just means you can take more hits. If you increase your defense, it means it's less damage each hit, each hit will do. I personally would like to have more HP than defense, but that's just me. But starting off, we're going to get the uh, barrel protector so we get more range. Whew, it's done. And we'll get that later. So yeah, that's all we're going to have for that's all we're going to have for that. And now we can actually uh, get up and go going for these missions. That only Come took 6 minutes. Soon, bro. <laughs> I mean it, man. Only took six minutes to do all that. So yeah, let's rock and roll it back into the book mode here. I'm going to save as well, since we just did changes. And uh, basically, all that HQ stuff that I just showed you in these past two episodes, I'm going to compile that into one episode after every chapter. So after chapter three, once we get to that episode seven down there, when we go into chapter four, I'll do... All that little lovey dovey BS that happened. So let's start off here with. Welks! There you are. I've been looking for you. Hey, Ease. How'd your enlistment go? No problems? I registered as a tank pilot and mechanic. Maintaining and operating the Edelweiss will be my responsibility from now on. I think it's nice that we'll all be on the same squad together. I think so too. So what are you up to now? The tank's hangar space is just through here. I was just carrying some Ragnite fuel back. It's used to power the tank, and also for the turret-mounted cannon rounds. I guess I'm just more used to seeing it in street lamps and medical compounds. Seems like everything is Ragnite-powered these days. That stuff is everywhere. Not enough of it for some people, though. It's the source of a lot of conflict. Fighting this war anyways. They say the Empire's invading only to get at all the Ragnite in Gallian soil. Oh, that's right. I had something to give you, Welks. What's this? Father's flare gun. It was in the barn, but I thought you might have some use for it. Another hand-me-down. I gave it a once-over. It might be old, but it's still serviceable. I didn't mean... I just can't believe I'm a tank operator now. Thank you for this, Ys. I'll do a spot check on the Edelweiss now, to make sure it's ready to go at any time. All right, we'll get going for now then. See you later. Ysara's awesome. I love Ysara. All right, here we go. Now we get briefed here. The first op. I'll cut to the chase. Here's your mission. The Great Vassal Bridge was just taken by the Empire. It's a key strategic position. The Great Vassal Bridge? It's a major drawbridge crossing the canal in Vassal, just outside the capital. That bridge is a part of the central transit artery, leading into Randgreeze. Our mission is to take it back. Separate cutscene for that, but okay. The Empire has been running a blitz, with their shock troops outrunning their defense. Our third regiment will retake the bridge before defensive reinforcements can arrive. 
How quaint. The militia holding a little strategy meeting of its own. How long were you planning on hiding out in here, Verrat? My apologies, sir. We'll depart soon. Whatever. They're just country mice. It's not like there'll be much help. More help, perhaps, than your army unit that couldn't hold the bridge in the first place. Yeah, get it, Verat. Get it. Hey! Regardless, Vassal remains a critical position. We'll reclaim it immediately. Well, all good. See that you do. Yeah, go back to eating your donut. Who is that? <clears throat> General Damon, commander of the Central Forces. Central Forces? That's the army branch the militia was folded into, right? That's right. They say the general's an aristocrat. He looks down on the common militia. I never looked down on That doesn't make any sense. Right. Now that the war's begun, we all need to band together and fight to keep Gallia safe. Who cares at this point whether you're in the army or the militia? It's ridiculous. Servicemen may have their Gentlemen, back and forth, but at the end of the day, mission. they're all brothers. We'll begin by taking back the western bank to gain a foothold for reclaiming the bridge. Lieutenant Gunther. I'm assigning Squad 7 to this mission. It's your first maneuver, so be smart. Yes, Captain. The other squads are on patrol. Stay sharp and be ready to help take back the bridge. I'm counting on all of you out there. Now move out. So skirmishes are more for grinding experience and um, money. I'll do skirmishes in like grinding montage sort of fashions where if we need to do one, I'll do one. But right now, we don't really need to do one, so let's hop right on into the West Bank. This is our combat op for the day. Here we go. Here are details on the current operation. The Imperial Force is deployed in a defensive formation around a camp within Vassal's urban center. You will you will assign your squad positions split between a city team and a riverside team. The city team will protect the base camp while the riverside team strikes the enemy. Your objective is to occupy the enemy's camp. Defeat the enemy units defending the camp, then get to the flag hung above their camp. Beginning with this operation, you will be responsible for assigning your soldiers to their combat position. Before commencing the operation, choose the Position Units command to view a list of deployable units. Then, once you've selected a unit you'd like to deploy, choose the position you wish them to take. Intelligence reports say they have tanks stationed in the city area there. It would behoove you to include an anti-tank unit on the city team to facilitate its neutralization. I would also recommend, to it to, uh, recommend you add units with high AP, such as scouts and engineers, to your Riverside Strike Force. Once you've got your teams in place, select the deploy command to begin the operation. Now it's time to get those soldiers of yours in position. Alright, our lose conditions is if the enemy occupies Gallia's base camp, if all allied soldiers and reserve soldiers are killed, if Welkin dies, or if 20 turns. Alright, so they pretty much determined our Riverside team, and we got Rosie, or no, that's Largo. We got Largo in this defensive position here. Um, so we have Largo there. Let's throw Ellis, Homer. We're going to want some shock troopers. We'll throw Nina.
Now, I don't want to bring a scout to something like that. Um, let's grab Nils then. There we go. So that's set. That's our defensive team. So we get Welkin in the armor, Alicia on the ground with Rosie. Yeah, we'll add Cherry. I want to... No, we'll go with Marina. I need a sniper. That looks like... Yeah, that's going to be some serious range we're working with. So I'll bring Marina for that. Um, we got a ladder right there in the middle of the map. Which looks like I can get my units up top there. I'm going to guess the tank is going to be facing towards my Riverside team. Probably up in that park area. So let's go ahead and deploy. I didn't save, I just realized that. We're prepared to commence the operation. I look forward to good news from you. Whoop, let's go. Split into two teams, offensive and defensive. Squad 7, move out! Let's do it. Alright, so starting out the op. Alright, it's our first mission. Let's split into two teams, City and Riverside. I'll lead the Riverside team towards the enemy encampment with the Edelweiss. Shock Trooper here. Leave the offense to me. City team, your job is to guard the base. Be ready for anything, including tanks. How long you think I've been an anti-tank man? A couple of tanks ain't no sweat. That's a spirit, Largo. Now, let's move out! Whoop. Let's push up. Listen closely. This information could save your life. Alright, so basically, um... Camps are very important. They give you ammunition. They heal your units while you're inside their perimeter. Yada, yada, yada. They can also be there for reinforcements. So you can call reinforcements into camps. But right now the squad roster is full. I think I brought one too many. Oh, well. Alright, so we're going to put Nina here on the right side. I know we got that guy on the left. But this guy could be very oh lethal God. for us. So we're putting Nina over here with Homer. Yes, right away. So Nina and Homer can cover on this guy. Put a few rounds in him. Put a couple rounds in him. Over. I'm going back to the farm. I'll get my shock troopers on the left side. Okay. You don't want it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, just so you guys know, your Lancers don't have splash damage. So unless you, if you plan on hitting um, any here. enemy soldiers, it's going to require you to um, hit them directly. Because splash damage is non-existent in, in this game for your anti- right. We've got Nils on this left side. Try it. Take this. Nothing. Nothing. All right, but they're all set up and ready to go. Um, let's get this squad ready to rock. I guarantee you, there's hostiles in the grass on the right side. The hunt begins. Let's lead off with Marina here. No, 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 that's not how this works. Uh, let's eliminate the guy standing first. Personal. And that's what I mean by how ridiculous this is. Like, snipers should not have that circle. I, I get it, this is like World War II area, era. But the fact that you can miss like that is ridiculous. Enemy unit spotted. Oh, shit. Now. I should have thrown a grenade. Wow. 
Wow. I'm gonna have to move Edelweiss up. Entering Edelweiss, combat. push up. Now, what's cool about tanks is that they can crush sandbags like that. So I can bring this in like so. Now these do have an explosive radius. Oh, killed them both. Nice. You're doing well. Just keep it up. And unfortunately, you cannot run over enemy units. I wish you could, but you can't. All right, so that's gonna do for that. City team's looking good. They're all set up and ready to rock. We got eyes on the shock trooper on the right side. All in all, we're pretty ready to go. This guy's a threat, though. GTFO bitch. So we still got infantry here in the left. I think I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna shift Nina to that left side. Nice job hitting the wall, dipshit. I'm gonna shift Nina to the left side, I think, so she can hose down that line. What do you do? You're challenging a tank, Dumas. Right there, that is, yeah, it's us here. So leader units have a command point, and uh, basically if you have them on the field, they they add one CP, and if you kill one, you lose a, they lose a CP. So right now we just got rid of one CP for them. Um, this guy, is he just gonna move? I think I'm just gonna lug a nade on him, to be honest. Orders. So we have orders. Um, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save before any, any shit goes down. Before anything happens, we're gonna save. <laughs> I know we're in the middle of a combat op, but I need to save. Because <laughs> I don't want to go through the training field and all that all over again. So yeah, let's save and then we'll get right back into the action here. Alright, so these are our orders. We have an evade boost order, which will um, which will raise one ally's evasion. I don't really care about that for right now. Right now we just need to push up. Get on point here. Oh, yeah, it's gonna tell us we can crawl here. Hold on, I'm on my way now. Try to stay out of the range. Okay, you're just gonna take a grenade. I really don't feel like dealing with you. Yeah, they get defensive boosts while they're in grass, which is also. Who are these guys? All right, all right, all right. So we're, we're, we're moving along pretty smoothly here. I'm gonna get Nina on this left side. Here I go! So she can blast this dude in the face. You're done! And that's why shock troopers are so lethal. That's why I love to have them in cover. Good. That makes things a bit Um, Homer. Yes, right away. Get you on this left side too. We can't allow them to reclaim their camp. Good. That'll work. That way, so we have that guy pretty much locked up. 
Um, let's push Marina up to the next set of sandbags. And then I don't want to push him across the ramp. Entering let's get the, let's get our armor online before we do anything else. The Great Battle Bridge is up ahead. Take cover behind sandbags when possible. Right, that looks good. I'm going to save my CP. I'm not going to move these three yet. I'm going to save. I have a feeling there's somebody in that graph. What? Uh-oh. Gah! Damn tanks busted right through the stick and wall! Well, it's my turn now! Stick this in your pipe and smoke it! Actually, it's their turn, Largo. Tanks can break through crumbling walls and trample down sandbags and trees. Lose anyone? Everyone's still up? Everyone's still up, okay. I knew it! I knew it! So, uh, shit just got real. Alright, so yeah, some weapons have an ammunition counter, and uh, you can restock via an engineer unit or being inside your uh, HQ, and inside your base camp, which we got going on here. So let's, real quick before we do anything, Understood. let's snipe this guy out. Hi, the immortal. Alright, so there are special units like this guy here that are ridiculously difficult to kill and Marina. It's all right, Marina. It happens sometimes, you know, you don't zero your rifle. I mean, actually, to be honest, I don't know anybody who doesn't zero their rifle correctly, who doesn't zero their rifle wrong. You're the only one, Marina. Only in this game do the troops zero their rifles wrong. She's 0 for 3. She is 0 for 3. Let's try one more time, Marina. You got one more shot remaining. Let's try one more time. All you have to do is hit him in the head. That's it. Man. Impersonal. Fuck it. Edelweiss. Hit him Entering with a mortar. Combat. What? How? How does going prone when a mortar is landing on your head? How is that evasion? Please enlighten me on that. Like that's the most ridiculous feature in this entire game. My turn, okay? in his head there. Good shots. I'm on it. Rosie, you have a grenade, right? Ain't no stopping me. Report. What is it? See what I mean? This is what I mean by grenade throws. Are you kidding me right now with that grenade toss? Whatever, blast him in his fucking head. Oh my god, I hate... I 
hate the evasion modifier. Huh. It's evasion. It's evasion, not defense modifier. You going prone should not increase your defense. But that's just me. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, maybe maybe some dudes in the army actually survived a mortar hitting them directly on their bodies by going prone. I don't know. Moving out. Right, let's get a good combat spread going here. Alright, we got a nice combat spread. Let's deal with his armor. Alright, Largo's looking good, so is Ellis. Nils is looking good. Um, Homer, repair that barricade, motherfucker. Repair it! Repair, 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 repair! <laughs> oh god! Got one health point left. Alright, let's draw that armor's fire over here. Spotted an enemy! Largo, if you miss, we're gonna have some words. You're done! We got the treads. That's a fucking miss in my book. Okay. Come on. Fire! There's one hit. I think we're gonna lose Homer. I think Homer's going down. He's at one health point. All he needs to do is drop a mortar on us. Yep. Now, when your unit goes down like that, they are not killed. They are not dead yet. They are dead. Um, they're they're what's known as a critical state. Basically, if that if that scout guy right there comes up and touches his body, he will he will have been quote unquote killed, and we won't be able to have him for the next mission. Um, if three turns pass by and we do not pick him up, he is quote unquote killed. And we won't have him for the next mission. So it's all about how you look at it. And most of the time, the AI will not go straight for dead bodies like that. So we can actually pick him up here with uh, Nils and then also eliminate the uh, the tank. Let's get Largo on the right side here. Enemy sighted! Spotted an enemy! Fuck it. All we have to do is get one more rocket in on him. So Nils, you're gonna take the shot. Man down. So right here, uh, see he's down. We're gonna get the medic over there. Don't you worry. I'll take care of it. And he's been evacuated. So think of it as a like, like a QRF kind of thing. Come on, hit. Take Thank that. you. Now, what's cool about this, as I scratch my Good. ear, what's cool about this is now we can actually uh, go here and call Homer back in if we want. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, we have Ellis on the ground right now. Let's grab Catherine. We'll call Catherine in. I'll crush him! And Nina can support these guys. You, with the face. Take this. Correct. Now I'm gonna actually recall yeah. some of my lancers Man. as well, because I don't need them anymore. Um, so Ellis and okay. Nils, I'll recall. I'm not gonna move my armor up this turn. video is 35 minutes long almost 30
Uh, but yeah, that, that's what happens when you do this kind of content. These missions get incredibly long after. They're so they're so tedious and mind consuming. You get lucky. You're done. Oh! Wow. All right. Yeah, the hype is real right now. The hype is teabag. Teabag. Support them. The hype is real right now. That was insane. To be honest, every fiber of my being said we weren't gonna hit that shot. Every single little fiber of my being was like, yeah, we're not gonna make that. Let's get Alicia up top here. Actually. Let's climb this ladder. Attacking each other up. Now! Frag out. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Man down. Everybody be careful. We have lots of little dudes down there. Um. So we recalled one of our units over here. What do I have over here? I have Ellis. Ellis. Or Nina. Largo. Nina likes Melville. Rosine. Okay, I think I know what to do. We're gonna grab Melville. We're gonna put Melville and Nina up on point here. Um, we grab Ted, or do we have too many units? Squad rush is full. Um, let's push Marina up this. Understood. I'm gonna make it right to where Rosie is. I guarantee. We're just just slightly past her. See? The stamina for snipers is ridiculously small, but I know I I know why they did it balance wise, but at the same time it's like really did you have to do that? Oh, they just skipped their entire turn. All right, we got reinforcements inbound though, which is so now we're actually going to begin our assault here. We got Catherine and entering combat. I think I said Susie. Catherine and Susie are inbound right now. I'm going to recall Nils and bring up somebody else. Hey! <laughs> he took every single one of those rounds. Man down, everybody. Alright, so we tag that motherfucker. Moving out. Let's have Alicia. Is this guy crouched? Enemy that guy's not crouched. Spotted. Oh shit, there's a dude up here with me. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh shit. Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, God. He didn't show up on Alicia's sight line when she was looking at him, like, almost directly looking at him. Um, let's get Nils out of here. I want to keep Largo there just for the CP. One's all it takes. But let's get Nils out. Um, real quick, who does Catherine... Juno and Kobe. I have Juno. 
let's drop Juno in here real quick. And Juno likes Welkin. I let's grab Juno. And let's start stepping off here. Let's get Catherine on the right side. I know there's a guy over here on the right side. Actually, Catherine, you can chill here. Just pop these mother... Come on, one shot, one kill. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Hey, that was a CP too. I'm not done yet. So they're down some CP right now, which is nice. I'm gonna keep Catherine here to just pop motherfuckers down that line. Um, let's move Marina up to the rooftop. She's not even gonna make it there. Almost. So next turn she'll make it up to the rooftop, and she won't even make it to the edge of the rooftop. She'll be too tired to make it to the edge of the rooftop. That's how ridiculous that is. All right. Let's push up Rosie with the armor. Ain't no stopping me. I gotta push her up one more. I gotta use one more CP on her to get her to cover. I'm on it. Hey, bitch. Ain't no stopping me. Here I come. Why did that do like little to no damage to him? Be ready for an ambush, soldiers. All right, he moves. He's dead, basically. <clears throat> we got Marina coming up on point. We got Alicia up top. Catherine watching the zone. They haven't called in reinforcements and probably won't. What are you? Doing? You're healing yourself. Edelweiss trample over every single sandbag. Hey. All right, so let's push out of the base here. Um, first things first, get Marina up the top. Begins. Kill that SOB. There we go. There's a hit. Sweet dreams. Just keep up this pace. So Marina's all set up there. Um, Alicia. Moving out. Enemy sighted. This guy in the back of the head. There we go. We're looking good right now. We are looking good. There's another CP down as well. Now let's start pushing out of the base. Let's start pushing out of the base real quick. Um. All right, Nina, you're up first. If you miss, I'm really upset. All right, we got one dude left. Um, I need to make it that far. Let's go with Melville. Okay, Melville will be able to make it in. Pretty sure Melville can make it in. Does this alley work? Melville grab this base. We're gonna shoot this guy in the face. I think we can go one more turn with Melville. Actually, to be honest, let's pop this motherfucker with Marina. The hunt begins. And then, because then Melville will be safe. And Marina, if you miss. There was that slight, there was that slight glimmer where I was like, she's gonna go straight off to the right and we're gonna miss. <laughs> I'm on it! And now Melville can take the flag. Flag. 
capture. Occupied enemy camp, and that was the old ultimate goal of the operation was get that flag. So we have done it. Operation complete. We took their base. Hey. The C rank. All right, 5,300 experience and then 8,340 dollar. And because we killed that um, Ty the Immortal Shock Trooper, we got an MP1 as well. Basically, whenever you kill those guys, um... by any chance, are you? Yes, that's us. <laughs> Bingo! I've been looking for you. Meaning you, hot stuff, on the tank. Me? Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me, I... That must make you Lieutenant Gunther, am I right? Um, yeah. Yes, that's me. Oopsie daisy What? <sighs> hey, you can't... Ah, nice to meet you, too. Now, let's get right to the questions. So, you're the son of the great General Gunther, huh? You look awfully young. How old are you anyway? Must be your first war, huh? What's been the uh, hardest experience so far? Um, Wait, happiest. I, no, oh, uh, funniest. I'd also like to know hobbies, favorite whoa. foods, uh, what you do on your days hey, off. Hey, lady! This is a combat zone. Yeah, somebody tell her. Excuse me, but what are you doing here anyway? Hey, give me a break, will ya? Scoops are near danger, and I'm near Scoops. That's right. The name's Ellet. I'm GBS Radio's top woman reporter. I smell a story. A good story. And you guys are it. So, you... Uh, you're a reporter? Very good. I'm a reporter, yes. I've been assigned to Squad 7 to conduct a series of interviews. Thank you. Now, let's get back to those questions, shall we? Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> Now the last chapter. Ugh. Now he's giving interviews? Who does he think he is? Ooh, look at him. Son of some big hero. Please. He's still a schoolboy. No kidding. One little win and he's the new Grand Duke. Ah, oh, I hate kids. Ah, whatever, he'll learn soon enough. Only one thing matters out there in the field, and that's experience. I want to agree with you on that, Largo. I really do. But skill matters much more than experience. Chapter 4. Operation Cloudburst. And there we have it. That's all for today, folks. We took out a bunch of enemy units and we made a name for ourselves. And we have a new combat reporter as part of the... Uh, that is integrated in the squad. Uh, basically, these three tabs that just showed up, it's your little Wikipedia. <laughs> Uh, basically they got squad bios and everything. I'll probably do something like that. I'm not sure. Ooh, I, I want to show you guys these. I want to show you guys these. Cause these, these two are really awesome. What they just showed us in the headquarters are really cool. So we're going to go to the headquarters real quick. And, uh, I'm going to show you guys the, the two new features they gave us. Castle Front Street is pretty cool. Um, basically you get special cutscenes and stuff that are really, really awesome. Sometimes, sometimes additional missions. Hey, Lieutenant! Off duty today? Your timing's perfect. There's something I want to show you. Won't take but a minute. Come on. Ta-da! It's the writing on the wall. Written and published by yours truly. Hmm? Why do this when I already have a radio news gig, you say? 
Sure, I could leave it up to the print news guys, but they're all lapdogs. The government censors everything. True. And not just a little cut here and there. In some cases, they'll bend the harsh truth into candy sweet propaganda. I'm so sick of it. I want to give my readers the truth. That includes the bad stuff, too. So, this is my brilliant plan. The writing on the wall. Some things were only possible in out-of-the-way spots like this. Out of sight from those government goons. I like this idea. I really do. It's a really cool idea. I'll keep this space filled with up-to-date, absolutely factual info. No censorship. And your exploits will feature heavily, I'm sure. So yeah, come by and have a read sometime. So yeah, you can come by and read these if you want, but there's something much cooler than these. Uh, basically, they'll update after every combat op, after cutscenes and all that stuff. And some of it has to do with your squad, some of it has to do with other stuff going on. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. And while you're here, I want to put a book out someday, right? To put the truth in the hands of the people. But I'm just a radio news grunt, you know? I'll be paying for everything out of my own pocket. So, I figured I'd ask you. Think you could find it in your wallet's heart to help a girl get started? I'd make it worth your while. You guys could feature in the book I write. Hmm. I still haven't hmm. decided what all I want to put in it, but I promise it'll be all about you. See this fat stack of notes? I've got a ton of material already. So how about it? Call it an investment in the future rising star of authordom. Please. So yeah, and then you spend money and you get these awesome, like, squad interviews and all that. So I'm actually going to purchase this one and you guys can view these cutscenes. This episode is almost an hour long. <laughs> Thanks a million. This is going really far here. But I expected these to be kind of long anyways. Because the combat ops themselves are very long. periodically, so drop by to check it out often. Especially after you've made some headlines on the battlefield. That's the perfect time to strike. I'm counting on you out there, Welkin. You need to keep me supplied with exciting material. Yep. So that's Castlefront Street. It's a very, very cool little thing. And we get new stuff for our chapters and all that. Uh, basically, like, new cutscenes, squad, extra squad bios, all that kind of stuff. It's pretty fun. This is my favorite feature, though, just because I love this... this So cool. Paying your respects? Sorry, I suppose that was a foolish question. Actually, no, sir. I'm not here visiting anyone in particular. Oh. Then might I ask what brings you to a place like this? I find it sobering. Standing here in front of all those who died in the last war. That and seeing this much death reminds me that humans are just another part of nature. Don't suppose I've ever heard that before. Judging from your clothes, your militia. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther. I'm in charge of Squad 7, Regiment 3. Gunther. I see, I see. Squad leader, hmm. Very impressive for a young man. Not at all, sir. I'm still woefully inexperienced. One wrong order from me and my squad could wind up here. It's a huge responsibility. You respect the weight of their lives. Here, let me teach you a special order. An order, sir? I'm sorry, who did you say you were? <laughs> Just a leftover from the last war. I'm afraid my orders require some experience, though. Okay, so basically orders, um, you can get them from him as well. It's a really good one that really helped. For support that I had to get. Um, they're very, very, very useful. I don't know what I love about 
this aged gentleman. It's so sobering. I can't in good faith teach them to those who lack the maturity to use them properly. Now, let's see. I'll teach you healing request today. Use it to request a medic to heal a single allied unit's wounds. Well, what is your decision? Okay, so all the orders that the old man will give you um, require experience. As you can tell, this one's 6,500 experience. We only have 53. So if I wanted to do that, I'd have to do a couple skirmishes. Actually, to be honest, I won't even do grinding montages of skirmishes. I'll just do them um, off camera and then do squad reveals, squad reviews and everything at the beginning of each video. But yeah, we're not going to mess with that at all, really. Um, we don't have the money for it. I can't. I can't get taught it. I see. I suppose it was too soon for you. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. I love that. That entire section is... But yes, we'll do more with that stuff later. I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, I'm going to show you guys the other cutscenes because we're running at just about 57 minutes here. And, uh, yeah, see that little sticky note that just showed up under the chronicle? If we turn the pages, we get Ellet Embedded. Report. Ellet Embedded. So I'm going to shut up and let these roll. Squad 7 of Regiment 3. My first impression, good. <sighs> Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, squad leader. Next in command, Sergeant Alicia Melkiot. Oh, that lieutenant looks softer than I'd expect for the son of the late General Gunther. And her. Her hometown is Brule, same as Gunther. Could be childhood friends. <laughs> but if I'm lucky, they were childhood sweethearts. We'll just have to find out how close they are. Next on the list, Sergeant Largo Potter and Corporal Bridget Stark. Oh, wait, that's right. Stark had a nickname. Gotta jot that down. Goes by Rosie. There. Looks like those two don't trust Gunther much yet. That could be good. Could be really good. Who does that leave? Right, the tank pilot, Corporal Isara Gunther. Huh, she's the lieutenant's sister. Now well, that's strange. She looks darksen to me. Wonder how that comes into the picture. <laughs> you couldn't ask for a more colorful crew than that. Could you? Something tells me these guys are different than the usual troops somehow. Hmm. Maybe my keen journalistic instincts? <laughs> well then? <sighs> the truth's not gonna uncover itself. Here I come, ready or not. Could you imagine if we didn't kill Ty the Immortal and he was still hiding in that grass the entire time while Ellis saying all this shit? <laughs> I just thought about that, I don't know why. Here we go, Largo and Rosie. Oh, there's Sergeant Potter and Corporal Stark with him. Hey, guys, mind if I ask a few questions? It'll only take a second. What, like an interview? What do you want to go interviewing us for? Aw, oh, come on, big guy. I bet we'd make better topics than some rich kid. Wonderful. Let's start with you then, Largo. You fought in the first European War, right? Yeah, I've been a soldier ever since, too. I'm what you'd call a seasoned warrior, see? <laughs> You're just an old man now, dude. And why did you choose to stay in the force? Most people try to avoid the soldiering life. 
It's an honest living. Plus, I got my reasons. Besides, I ain't the only one. Look at L. L? Who's L? If I had to guess, I'd say Eleanor Verrat. Captain Verrat, that is. Third Regiment. It seems you've got quite a history with her. Care to fill in some details for us? Ooh. Th there ain't no details. Is this the trash you want to write about? Look, I'm a busy guy. I'm out of here. I think they had a thing. Hey, Largo, wait up! Oh, just let him go. We can have a little chat, just the two of us girls. So, Rosie. Can I call you Rosie? Beautiful name, by the way. Do you like flowers? Huh. I used to sing at a bar. It was hardly a flower patch, but my nickname there stuck. Tell you what, though. Some customers came from miles away just to hear me sing. My, my. So why is a pretty young songbird with a voice as sweet as a rose so... thorny towards Lieutenant Gunther and all those others? <laughs> I just ain't trusting my back to a stinking dark hair is all. Traumatic past experience with the darks and leave you bitter, maybe? Think what you want. I got better things to do than sit around gabbing about them is all. You can put me down as allergic, yeah? Just chatting and I'm starting to feel sick. <laughs> Bet she'd spill the beans if you got her riled up enough. Maybe next time. Still, a veteran carrying a torch for his captain and a darkson hating Chantus? They may be cranky, but they're characters. <laughs> We're an hour and three minutes. Boo! Oh, hello, Miss Ellet. How are you? A little freaked out now. You didn't even bat an eye at that. You were staring at the sky pretty intently. Something up there we should know about? I'd like to fly. Well, actually, I'd like to fly my brother. Fly your brother? Care to expound on that? You don't seem the type to have her head in the clouds. It's very romantic. I believe myself to be quite logical, really. Too logical, perhaps. Okay, so if you don't mind my asking, how exactly are you and your brother related? Wait, let's leave that for now. How would you describe your brother as a person? Welks is... Objectively speaking, he can seem a little strange sometimes. I see. Although I'm a little unsure of what that means, coming from you. But he is a very kind person, and loyal. Anytime my heritage brought me trouble, he was the first to come to my defense. I see. Sounds like you really love him, huh? I would say... I respect him a great deal. Isara is awesome. I like Isara. Gotcha. Sounds like you lucked out in the sibling department, then. Yes, very much so. That's why I'd like to give him the opportunity to fly. I'm still not sure I follow that exactly, but we'll leave that for another day. Thanks for your time. Next up, squad leader Gunther himself. Welkin and Alicia. The lovebirds. <laughs> Last one and we'll call it an episode. Hello, hello! Are you ready for your big interview? Hello, Miss Ellet. Hard at work again, I see. Didn't you already interview him before? Oh, Alicia. I wanted to get in a chat with you today, too. 
Wait, really? You're going to write an article about me? I can't say whether it'll make the paper, but I do have some questions for you. Uh, you've been at Lieutenant Gunther's side since you left Brule. Tell me what he's like. Wait a minute. You want to interview me about him? Well, let's see. We only met just a few days ago, but... He's a pretty interesting person. You never know what he's going to say next. I see, I see. So, forget he's your boss for a second. What do you think of him as a guy? Yeah, Eleanor getting in with it. You're not Eleanor. What? I, I've never really thought about it. I don't know. <laughs> Is that so? Well, Lieutenant Gunther, care to comment in her place? Lieutenant, where'd he go? Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, there was just this crazy-looking bug. I got distracted. See what I mean? He's an interesting guy, if unpredictable. No kidding. Now, Lieutenant Gunther, I have a couple of questions for you. First up, how do you feel about this war, as the son of a hero from the First European War? Same as anybody else, I guess. I want it to be over. Are people looking at me as the son of a hero? Well, maybe I am, but I'm still just me. Okay, then. Let's talk about you. What are you fighting for? I feel like the present world is made up of things we've inherited from the past. We get life and a home from our parents, knowledge from our teachers. And not just the good stuff. Take prejudice against Darksons. That's learned behavior. Uh-huh. Every creature out there is trying to pass things along to future generations. I want to pass on what I think is right. I'm fighting for the ability to do that. Welkin makes a lot of... Thank you very much. That's all I've got for you today. Great. We're done? I want to get back to that fascinating insect again. Huh. You really hit the nail on the head. He's as entertaining as he is unpredictable. I was planning on moving along to the next squad after interviewing everyone in Squad 7. But I think I'll stick around and learn a bit more about you Sevens, if you don't mind. Not at all. Just try to stay out of the combat zones, for your own safety. I'm not making any promises. I go where the scoop takes me. That's just how I roll. Crazy bastard. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. This episode is just under an hour and ten minutes long. Um, ugh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I really hope to keep the length of these episodes. They're going to continue to get longer. I know it's kind of a jump from the last episode and the episode before that, but yes, these episodes will be getting longer uh, because the combat ops will get harder to do. And then you got all these cutscenes to go through and everything. This is going to be a pretty long series if I were to cut it up into 20-minute segments or 30-minute segments, but I really just want to keep it at the time it takes to do each mission. I don't want to cut them up or anything because I know when I was watch when I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos where you'd get the 10 minute videos, but they'd cut out, they'd, they'd cut it up and they'd, they'd have like, they'd record for two hours and then they'd cut them up in the 10 minute. Then you have to go find all those and then it cuts, they cut their own recording voice off and all that. And it, it just gets kind of annoying. So I don't really want to do that. I'll keep them at the length they are. Um, I'll record them for as long as I need to record, but yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, Robot Panda 15, check in out.